Hey everyone, thanks for dropping by. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there as well as the notification bell so you will be updated and notified every time I upload a new video. A lot of you might be wondering how much the basic salary of an average ALT is here in Japan. If you ask someone the best place to earn money by teaching English in Asia, chances are good that Japan will be their answer. And that's one of the main reasons why I grabbed an opportunity here. Aside from, of course, this is my dream country to visit, live, and work. Even with the high cost of living, the salary is still one of the best in Asia, in my opinion. But how much do you think can you earn as an English teacher or as an ALT here in Japan? In today's video, I will talk and share with you guys how much is the basic salary of an ALT or assistant language teacher who works here in Japan. I will also include some of the basic expenses or average expenses so you get an idea if in case you are interested in living and working here in Japan. First of all, I would like to have a disclaimer. I will not give you the exact amount or exact figure of my monthly salary as you know for privacy. Let me just give you a basic idea or maybe a general information that I think is common uh, to us ALT or assistant language teachers here in Japan. So let's start. The basic monthly salary of an ALT or assistant language teacher here in Japan usually ranges from 220,000 to 250,000 yen per month. That's if you work for a dispatching company like me. That's roughly about 2,300 US dollars. But of course, depends on the exchange rates. As I mentioned from my previous video, there could be a relevant difference when you work for a dispatch company like me and directly hired by the Board of Education through the JET program. Now to get a feel for how far your salary will go here in Japan, let me share with you also my basic average expenses for each month to cover while you're living here in Japan. By the way, the cost of living here in Japan is somehow one of the highest in Asia that's next to Hong Kong and that's based on my research in this website. The expenses I will share with you guys will be just my typical average monthly expenses and I mostly rounded them to figures that would be easier for you to understand. Anyway, the purpose of this is just to give you a rough idea, right? First is my monthly apartment rent. Normally, it ranges from 40,000 to 50,000 yen and will again depend on whether you reside in rural or urban areas. My apartment rent now is 44,000 yen per month. Okay, here's the thing. Let me give you an idea or tip that prior to your monthly rent, if you are setting up an apartment here in Japan, most of the real estate companies would require you to pay at least two months in advance. And some key money is ranging from 10,000 to 20,000 yen. This key money will be refunded to you once you finish the contract of your apartment. Some other insurances like fire, earthquake, and others would also be collected upon your contract signing with the real estate company. Second is my phone plan bill, which would usually cost 4,000 yen per month as an average. Third, the transportation expenses. This would be basically depending on what mode of public transportation you would usually use on a daily basis. I use bus for my daily commute and would cost me an average of 6,000 yen per month. The distance of your school and your apartment would also be one of the major factor to affect your transportation expenses and would uh, of course be a factor to determine the monthly amount. Now this particular expense would most probably be refunded to you by your employer or your dispatch company. And this normally ranges from 10,000 to 15,000 yen per month. Still, it's case-to-case -case basis depending on your situation. Fourth, school lunch. Here in Japan, it is so common that schools would be 
the one to provide the foods for the entire school population students teachers and staff they don't have a cafeteria or canteen inside the school premise now let me show you some photos of my school lunch or the typical school lunch that they serve For your information, Japanese are very particular when it comes to the health of everyone at school. That's why they serve healthy and balanced diet school meals. Now normally, the school lunch would range from 200 yen to 300 yen per day. And to tell you guys, this is really really cheap and healthy for its price as compared to when you try and have your lunch every day outside at a restaurant or any fast food restaurants now let's use my school lunch fee which is 280 yen per day and if i work for 20 days okay here here's the calculation so 20 days multiplied by 280 yen this would give us 5600 yen per month Next is my weekly groceries. Since I mentioned earlier that Japan has one of the highest cost of living in Asia, every time I try to go and purchase groceries at the supermarket, I try not to buy too much. What I do is just buy a supply for the following week. So it's like a weekly budget. This is to avoid food spoilage. So I have an average of 5,000 yen every week. So let's put 20,000 yen per month since we have four weeks most of the months of the year. Last is if oftentimes I feel like I wanna go out and I need to buy or shop something somewhere, I put 15,000 yen as a budget for that. And for the total of the average monthly expense that I have, let's have it here. Just a reminder guys, these are just estimation of my monthly expenses and could be your expenses as well if you uh, would try to live or reside or work here in Japan. Those are some of the basic expenses that I usually have and as what I always mention, the expenses that you would have would be depending on your lifestyle and how you spend your hard-earned money. So what do you think guys? Is living here in Japan an ideal for you? Let me know guys your opinion or your thoughts about it in the comment section. That's about it for this video guys. I hope I was able to share with you and give you an idea and some information that you might need or you want to know or you're curious about. If you have any other questions, suggestions, and idea for my next video, please uh, write those thoughts down there in the comment section and I will try my very best to read them all and reply as soon as I have enough time to do so. Again, thank you very much for dropping by and I hope to see you next time. Take care everyone. Matane! Namarekatao gozaimasu!